Okay, you know, as you know, a hamburger has been done. I just, now you can lower the heat, keep it on the holding temperatures. And the thing I wanted to show you is, is this is how much grease we've taken out of four hamburgers. We ate the other one, we got hungry, Dodge. Jeff is filming this with me. And, uh, hey Jeff, hi. <laughs> Hi, Tom. Okay, look at this. I want to put these ice cubes in here to show you that when the grease cools down, all this gets hard and collaborates, and it turns into almost wax. And I'll show you this here. It's happening already. Look at this. See that? This is what causes heart disease, heart attacks, stroke victims. It goes in your arteries. And you basically have arteries that go all the way to your hotline, you know. And so why would you want to eat this? Would you eat this? No, but you do it every time you prepare these kind of foods. So you can still prepare the foods and reduce the risk. You're never eliminating it. It's always reducing it. But isn't it better to reduce that? But look at that fat. Look at that. Ew, it's disgusting. But this is what we do. Excuse me while I rinse my hand, okay? But as you can see here, our vegetables are done. Look how clear. Look at this. Look at those vegetables. This is waterless. Like, these were frozen vegetables, and they'll taste pretty fresh. Look at that. They're not mushy. You didn't mush them. I didn't mix them. I didn't stir them, and I didn't turn them. Why? Because I have a speedometer on my cookware. You don't have one on yours yet, and hopefully you'll seriously think about getting one because you could be making some quick lifestyle changes for very realistically pennies. Um, the corn on the top. Let me show you. Corn's done. Let me take a piece of this out and uh, show you. Look at the bottom of the pan. I didn't burn it. The corn husks aren't burnt. And look at this corn. Oops, it's a little hot, but one potato, two potato, three potato more. But these little kernels, you can peel them off. And like I said, you know, with salts and butters and all that, you don't have to add them. They just taste really good. They're all... Mmm. You're not going to stick in your teeth. They're all pretty natural. So, and they're all done. So if I'm waiting for people to come over, I can just turn the heat all the way down. Well, look, the heat's all the way down to almost low or off. And I stuck that into the corn. Let's see what the temperature of the inside of the corn is. It's stuck right in the corn. Wow. Look at that. Nice, because it's not at 212 degrees to ruin the vitamins and those nutrients. Now look at this. I didn't stir it. I didn't turn it. I didn't mix it. You see where the steam is starting to escape a little now? It's told me that, wow, the heat is really starting to get hot in there. The temperature is 112. We're going to go to 166, and it'll be done in about the next 20 minutes, 15 minutes.